John, what's the question you're asked most when it comes to independent film distribution and how has your answer changed? over the years? Uh, well, probably a few years ago it was, how could I get someone else to release my film? You know, is the common question. You know, it's like, why do I still have to do this work? You know, um, and I still get that from filmmakers, you know. Um, but I think, you know, if I'm going to be Pollyanna-ish, which I tend to be Mr. Pollyanna, um, I I feel like it's the, 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 the debate has shifted from oh my god, why do I have to do this? Didn't there, isn't there someone else who's going to do this for me? And, you know, I want to get a sales agent so I can sell my film and move on. It's moved a bit from that to where filmmakers will start to entertain the idea that they have to be kind of engaged on a regular basis, kind of like musicians in a sense. That, um, you know, there's still some resistance or some questioning of how I do that as a filmmaker. Um, but I think the, the desire and the awareness, we're kind of there now with that question of how do you engage audiences on a consistent basis, where we were three years ago with why do I have to release my film myself? So I think in three years, you know, which has been the transition period, I'm hoping that filmmakers, that in three years, the notion of engaging your audience on a consistent basis will be a non-issue you know just like now it's less of an issue now with people understanding that they have to kind of take on this responsibility themselves that not even the responsibility that even understanding that what i've been saying for a while is that filmmaking's a two-step process or is this whole process which includes making your film and engaging an audience that that's all part of one whole and you can't have you can't do one without understanding that you have to do the other